Our first guest played the lovable, clumsy co-worker Jerry, who always found himself as the butt of the joke on the hit NBC show, Parks. Wow, what a transition. Take a look. Jerry, <laughs> I need to see your softball pictures. Here you go, Chief. Wow, good job, Ooh, nice work. Wait a minute, isn't that that creepy guy? Morgan, the pedophile? Yeah, it is. Oh, oh my God. Yes. Yes. Come on, I didn't know that. He seemed okay. <gasps> we had dinner together. Guys, I don't know if I made it clear, but I don't want any sex offenders in our park's catalog. Okay, I will Photoshop his face. Can you Photoshop your life with better decisions, Jerry? Okay, April, enough. I, I can't. Now, almost 10 years after the show wrapped up, Jim O'Hare has given fans a gift this holiday season with his new book. It's called Welcome to Pawnee, Stories of Friendship, Waffles, and Parks and Recreation. So whether you call him Jerry, Gary, or Larry, let's bring him out. Welcome to the show, Mr. Jim O'Hare. Good morning. Hey, guys. There he is. There he is. Oh, man. So what a, see what a you. pleasure. What a pleasure. <laughs> that for is having me. That is a treat. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks wow. for having me. Thanks for having thanks me for on having your show. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for joining me, you guys. Anyway, as everybody knows, because I'm here every day. <laughs> Crazy. Do you have a comfort show? Is it your own show? Yeah, I have many comfort shows. And, and, and uh, Parks is definitely a comfort show, yeah. but I, I have trouble watching myself, so that can't uh, be my truly comfort show. But <laughs> people are gonna laugh. Golden Girls. Yes. It's been on there forever. Yes. Uh, Seinfeld. I yep. can watch Seinfeld. The Office. Yep. I can have them on in the background. Yep. Even I've seen every episode a thousand times yep. of all those shows. But there, it's like, okay, I yeah. know those people. I know those characters. Yes. I know those episodes. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I, I, and I, I can't believe, because I'm someone who has and loves my comfort shows, that uh, through whatever miracle, I ended up on a show that is a comfort show for people. I know, I believe it. Luck of the draw. So uh, there was a girl at, a, at an event last night who came up to me and she's literally shaking and crying. She said it has gotten her through some terrible times, yeah. uh, chemo treatments and like, wow. so I, wow. That's so, if I can bring that to the world, that's I'll Because it. there's comedy oh, and then there's like this kind of comedy, mm -hmm. which is just yeah. something that's, it doesn't feel like it's forced. It right. feels genuine. And, and in reading some of the things about it, some of your moments were just really genuine, not scripted moments. Yeah, we got to play every day. Yeah. Uh, we, you know, and Amy Poehler is like the queen of improv. <laughs> so it was a little terrifying. I, I also trained in improvisation. A lot of us did, but every day, and I think, because to this day, the cast, we have this thing called the Parks Family Text. Mm. We're still in each other's lives. And we've been off the air for, this is this book is coming out at the 10-year anniversary. Yeah. And we're still in each other's lives. The other day, Chris Pratt had another baby, baby boy Ford. Are you so the godfather? Was, I am the, well, <laughs> not for that baby, but I am, where's the camera? I am the godfather. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, New York. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, but it's, so it, it's just, it was that kind of vibe always. Um, I just did a live event with Amy and Retta. And it, it, they're just like the, the greatest yeah. people. So it was a special place to be. Um, and people are like, well, why, why the book? Why now? Yeah. It is the 10th anniversary. And also, I always tell this story because it's true. I'm petty. And I <laughs> sit at home. No, I'm going to tell you why. I sit at home and I watch these late night shows because I love them. And I've been on yeah. them. They're all lovely. And I've been so blessed with my career. And I, I've done many, many, many shows over the years. And I'll see these people on these talk shows, and they're like, oh, we are a big, tight, happy family. And I'm thinking, uh, I was there. Yeah. That was not one big it's happy family. <laughs> and it's like, we were, damn it. Right. And I wanted, yes. I just, I don't know, I wanted to put that out into the world. Yeah. And it's because of people like Amy and the, the creators were Mike Schur and Greg Daniels. Greg brought the UK office yep. to America, which I Jeez. think it's a game changer. Yeah. So we just, from top to bottom, we had amazing people involved. Yeah. I love that you're petty because we are also petty. I, I read that. I read all the blogs. And yes. I, yes. I, you know, because yeah. I'll Capital text P. him yeah. and I'll say, "Can I just be petty for a second? And he's like, "The pot." Do you put that yeah. into the group chat? With your... Oh, we're petty. <laughs> we are petty. Yeah, yeah. We'll go. Did you hear what so and so that? just said? She oh. tells me that, and I'm like, "Okay, I'm ready." Yeah, yeah ready. let's go. I'm ready. The tea is hot, baby. I've been hot tea. I've been hot tea. Welcome to Pawnee. As much about yourself and your experience as it is about your castmates, who it yeah. appears are your friends in real life, did you learn anything new about them? Mm. I learned new doing? about all of us. The, what blew my mind when I did this book, because everybody gave me their time, the, the creators all, and so I learned how a show came together that I never knew. My favorite thing about this book, when people ask, I'm like, 
the diehard fans I know are learning things because mm -hmm. I didn't know them. Right. And if I didn't know them, I can guarantee they didn't. Amy Poehler wasn't the first one cast in Parks yeah. and Recreation. Mm -hmm. Nick Offerman was offered a role on The uh, the Office, yep. but he had to go do Will and Grace because his wife, Megan Mullally, yes. who uh, played Karen. Had he done that role, he couldn't have done yeah. Parks and Rec. I auditioned for The Office at one point. I was so mad I didn't get it, because yeah. you know an audition, you didn't get it. But I love that show. Had I gotten The Office, I wouldn't have been on Parks and Rec. So there's some really fun, like, behind the scenes, how it all came together stories right. that are great, and everybody shared. Well, and one of them, too, being that you were not originally cast as a series mm -hmm. regular. No. And it became a series regular. Me and Retta, we, we never knew what was happening. We were <laughs> like, and then I, I, I talked to Greg Daniels in, in the book, and I'm like, Greg, you know, Retta and I, every day, we're like, what, are we going to be here tomorrow? And he goes, no. We always knew you were staying. Yeah. Go, Tell a guy. <laughs> Tell a guy. Because, you know, when you're, when you're on a series um, and it's happening, and the, there's the series regulars, right. and then there's the people that are guesting. And season two, I heard that they were giving me the A story. <gasps> now there's ABC. And when I got that, I was like, oh, that sounds like a good thing yeah. for Jim O'Hare because yeah. you don't give a guy who's not going to stick around the A story. The a story. Right. And that was when I, what's the first time I thought. What's that mean? I think what's I'm, the inside lingo of the A story? What's that? The A story is like, you're the ingenue. You're yeah, the, there's you're, the A story, the main story of the episode, then there's a B story, sometimes a C story. But A, it means my story will be the main story of that episode. Right. And in this case, it was, it was called, um, uh, basically, Jerry pretends he got mugged because he was too embarrassed to say he fell into a creek getting a burrito. So it's a whole thing. And that's that's the fart attack episode. There's like a lot going on in that the episode. Fart attack, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, a lot going on in that episode. In the, you're the A story, I'm the B story. You are always the A story. Never, never, I think never. this is the A story, always you know what I'm story. saying? Always. I well, think. petty, petty, and petty, <laughs> How Thank do we you. get into that group chat? Can we just infiltrate? Yeah, I'll put your name in. Please. <laughs> yeah, actually, Rashida Jones, uh, after, because Rashida and Rob Lowe left end of season five. And so this chat, because we were, we went to seven. So that's when we all started making sure we'd all be in contact. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rashida and Amy did a thing for Vanity Fair, I believe, and they put them on lie detectors. And the first question Rashida asked Amy, is it true that there is a text chain that I am not in from Parks and Recreation? <laughs> and Amy's like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So later that day, we all get it. Everybody, Rashida's in, and it was it. Because it was not a slight. It right. was just right. she hit anyway. And then she was like, hi. And then Rashida Jones has left. Right. The yes. <laughs> but it was, we were all like, how did Ew. she even hear yeah. about it? Because she was not purposely not um, on it. She just hadn't been around. She yes. calls her agents. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you so Congrats. much. Congrats. You can see Jim O'Hare tomorrow at Bookends in Richmond, New Jersey. No, tonight. Bookends tonight. 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 I will be did at Bookends tonight. tonight. You did say that. You did, tonight. yes. You That's, know, that puts you at the B story. That's right. Now really you're down to the B. That's right. I mean, I'll take this over. It's you got the A. New Jersey, <laughs> and you can pick up a copy of Welcome to Pawnee at Bookstores now. I'm never going to get in that group chat. Never. Or into the A story. I don't see that. That's it. Jim, amazing. <laughs> My friends never care when I have any when I interview people. They care that you were coming. Oh, that's very like, sweet. You were oh so jealous.